Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to IMDb at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. And look, it's the director and the cast of Terminator Dark Fate. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's a, Tim Miller, of course, the director. Uh, you're a big figure here at Comic-Con uh, for many reasons, not the least of which is you gave the world Deadpool. And after, yes. And after seeing you make Deadpool, I was like, I would entrust Tim Miller with anything, not just the Terminator franchise, but my male adult Briss, if needed, because this is an artist, a man who knows what he's doing. And uh, real quick, funny, cute story. Like when I saw, uh, I think it was the trailer for Deadpool, or maybe I saw Deadpool. We were on a podcast that I do, Fat Man Beyond, and I was going like, this kid, Tim Miller, this brand new kid who made this movie, because he hadn't made a feature before. I was like, this kid, he's the future of cinema, man. Like, I'm an old man. This young buck has got, he's taking it all over. And Tim sent me an email going like, thank you for the compliments, I'm 50 years old. So, <laughs> tell me about doing Terminator. Last time we chatted, it was like you, you were just whispering about it. Now, you've actually got something to show. You're leading off Hall H today, is that what I understand? That, that is the, the plan. Unless somebody changed the agenda, I think, no. Uh, no, I, we couldn't be prouder. I mean, the movie is still in post, um, but uh, I, I think we all know enough to feel pretty confident about what we've got here. Um, it's only my second movie, so I still know very little about what the fuck I'm doing. Um, <laughs> but uh, luckily, the cast is fantastic, and I surround myself with people smarter than me, so I think the movie is going to be great, and... I don't want to compare myself to Jim Cameron, but I think it's a worthy continuation of the story that Jim started to tell, and particularly, or most especially, because Linda's back. Yes! Um, you're now, Linda, you're new to the Terminator franchise. Um, you have, uh, you built this from the ground up. You were there from the beginning. Uh -huh. uh, we're up to like the 28th Terminator movie, and you were there for the origins of it. More importantly though, uh, like as much as I love the Terminator, of course we all go to T2, where you became an action badass, and you can draw a direct line from Sarah Connor in T2 to even Captain Marvel today. You were the very first strong female action yeah. hero and whatnot. And I remember during, yes, during the marketing of that movie, I remember that was like a big part of it. They're like, she worked out every day and stuff like that. They kept showing you doing pull-ups. I can't do one of those. Did you train hard for this movie as well? I've seen the trailer and clearly you're in deep shape as well. I did. Um, I worked as hard, but you don't get the same results. <laughs> you need hormones apparently too. But that's beside the point. But yeah, I worked hard. Uh, the body in motion, you know, just have to, you know, move and, and move like a young woman. And um, I think the biggest difference is that when I go down, I, it takes me a little longer to get up. That's pretty much it. Right, right, right. Just, you know, a little bit longer to get up. Now, did you also function as the go-to on set? Because you're the one person I would imagine in the entire operation who's been there since the beginning. So people could come to you and be like, oh, is this accurate? And you'd be like, well, back when we started this shit. Um. <laughs> that was not the intention. Um, no, yes. but I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did feel that I sort of not was more equipped than anybody else, but quite possibly a little more invested just because it's kind of the bookends of a, of a career and I have played her for 35 years, so I've never been attached to result when I'm working, but this is the first time ever that I just knew it had to be good. Like, it, for everybody, for the fans, for my own sense of Sarah Connor, but most importantly, for Tim Miller. Uh, but, well, that's very nice. But it, the truth is, honestly, you don't want to let down Jim Cameron or the people who hired you but m most especially, you don't want to let down Linda Hamilton. <laughs> um, and and I, it's, I mean, it could sound like fluff saying it here, but honestly, I couldn't let down Linda. I mean, it's, it, it's a big thing for her to, to decide to, to come back to this character uh, and finish the story where she didn't have to. She could have rested on her laurels, but she chose to come back. And, and I, th I thought that was a show of faith for the movie, uh, if not me personally, because she didn't know me that that well at the time, um, but but uh, I couldn't let her down, you know? It's so rare that any performer gets to take a character throughout like the course of their life to grow Crazy. a character. So like the first time, you know, you, you play Sarah Connor, you're like, oh, I got a job. 
This time, it's like, oh, there's a lot of history, and I get to shape who Sarah became, and you know, she's had a wacky life, so obviously there's been character development. What did you, how did you prepare to go into her this time, and how much, rather, this is the question, how much of you is in that character? Um, I think it's unavoidable to bring just everything that I am into Sarah Connor today. I mean, what, what appealed to me was the passage of time and what that does. You know, um, time changes us all. And so 27 years after the last one, I was like, my God, what, what internal riches I have gained let's see what Sarah Connor has gained or lost. And that was what was so appealing to me about bringing her back and filling in those 27 years. Um, not just circumstances, but how the circumstances change her. And that, that makes it very intriguing. Damn tremendous. But you, you know, Linda, also, when we first started auditioning for the other roles, um, when Natalia uh, auditioned, she was auditioning with a few other women who were reading that day. Natalia did her audition. Linda said, that's the one. Tim, you're done. And I'm like, uh, well, we still got a few more. And she's like, nah, that's it. And then we went to audition. We actually, Linda and I... I like how you threw her under the bus for every actress that lost the role. You're like, it was her. <laughs> that, you know, it was just, uh, you know, they were all quality actors, but Natalia just stood out. And it was the same with McKenzie when we went to Ireland. Uh, she was shooting, and we actually flew to Ireland to just to test McKenzie with both Natalia and with Linda and... At the end of it, uh, Linda writes Jim and says, she's the one. Um, she's a badass and human and relatable, which her character really needs to be. Um, Mackenzie, like, uh, of course, we'll talk about this, but I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that it, you're, you're so good at your job that you made me want to be a young woman in a fake world in love with another young woman via San Junipero. That performance was, like, so... <laughs> Heartbreakingly beautiful, and, and one of my favorite pieces of entertainment ever created. This Thank is so you. great. Uh, so when I saw you in the trailer, I was like, "Oh, it's a sequel," and it's not a sequel at all. Um, what is it like? But there's uh, another girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's it like to enter this world? The franchise has been around for a hundred years at this point, man, and you get to come into it. Do you think like I'm going to bring something new to it, or what is the idea? Um, I found it very intimidating. <laughs> I think we shot for 96 days, and on the 96th day to Tim, I was still like, I don't know if I'm right for this part. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. <laughs> it was really hard. I mean, you told a very nice story about Ireland, but I remember it a little bit differently than that. <laughs> and it was, it was a struggle. It was really new for me, and I felt very intimidated by the world and the size of the thing, and that, like, this character isn't a Sarah Connor character, but it's hard to be um, a female, like, ripped action star and not have the sort of influence of this icon hanging over you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I felt the weight of it, and, and, um, and I hope it worked out. <laughs> okay, but imagine you're, you're an actor who is used to doing indie films. It's all about drama, and then you get into a movie, and if you don't, like Mackenzie says, she's not she's not super athletic she doesn't go climb mountains in her spare time and then i say okay you see that humvee hanging uh, 60 feet up in the waterfall there you're going to climb we're going to wire you up you're going to climb up there and climb around on that and then you're going to fall off and and she's like okay um, and then she goes and does it i mean gabe is super athletic but he's always athletic so it's no surprise when he does his his own stunts mckenzie never balked at doing that stuff that even i found intimidating well, not that I'm a badass. I found it intimidating. You're not the standard. I, You're like the even, even, yeah, even Tim Miller. Even, no, 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 no. Let, me, let me change that. I gotta pull that out I, my inner Tim and yeah, do sorry, this. Sorry. Boys, what is it like? I imagine you're, you, I mean, aside from, of course, being Ghost Rider, I just found out you're a huge nerd in and of itself. So Absolutely. Jumping. I just saw Muse downstairs, and then I was just geeking out. Him and Brian were downstairs. That's super nerdy if you yeah. recognize Jay Muse. <laughs> the, uh, what, what was it like to jump into the Terminator? Something I'm sure you, you grew up watching. Well, uh, I was, I, the way I describe it, it's my, it's my own uh, last action hero moment, you know? I tell Arnold all the time, he's like, man, it's one of my favorites. I love you in Predator, I love you in Terminator. Of course, but what I really love is Kindergarten Cop and Twins and Last Action Hero. Because that's the one I spent so much time with my brother watching. And, uh, and I remember feeling that, you know, I'm living that out. I'm not, just, I'm not the actor in the movie. I'm, I'm the kid getting to be in the story, you know. And, uh, and just, uh, and he, you know, he laughs and he, you know, because people give him a hard time about that movie. But I absolutely love that movie. 
And no, it's just, you know. To, you just made a bunch of people online go like, I'm gonna go watch that movie yeah, again. Yeah, dude, go watch Last Action Hero, it's great. Yeah, kid gets a ticket, he gets to go through the movie screen and he's in the movie. Don't spoil it, man, they'll go look it up. Oh, that's the beginning. But yeah, no, to play the Terminator is just a dream, man. It's just, uh, I try to do my best to find the best bits of Arnold and the best bits of Robert and try to interweave them. And, and uh, what you see on screen is, is, is mostly that. Mm. Yeah. They're pulling us out of here, Diego, but I got to get something out of you, man. Uh, man, it was, honestly, it was just a treat to be able to work with these guys. Uh, we were shooting uh, in Spain and in Budapest. It was amazing to be involved in a movie that was this um, action and uh, CGI or effects heavy. I'd never worked on anything like this. But what was the best part of it, which was something that you said, and I'm going to steal from you because it's dead on. Uh, Tim was so invested in the characters uh, and in the emotional through line because he said, yeah, I mean, explosions are cool, but if you don't care about the characters in the explosions, we don't have a movie. True. And so we're talking action, 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 but I think there's a great emotional uh, heart through line to the whole thing. And I'm just great to be here for the ride. Super happy to be here for the ride. Mm. Do we have enough time to cap it out or no? That's it? Man, we gotta wrap it up with them. The future looks fine, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the director and the cast, Terminator Dark Fate. We'll have more here at the IMDb at San Diego Comic Con 2019 later on.